Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today's Friday, October 11th, 2024. Big Friday show today, but we're going to try to squeeze it all in. MLB playoffs, NFL, college football, WNBA finals, soccer, golf, NASCAR, news and notes, and then best bet and Fab Five to close the show. We'll start with the baseball playoffs. We'll go over the results from yesterday. Look ahead to the weekend. The NLCS will start, so we'll also pick that. Um, ALDS Game 4, Guardians over the Tigers 5-4 to force a Game 5 on Saturday night. And the Yankees over the Royals 3-1 in the other Game 4 as they move on to the ALCS for the fourth time in eight years. All right, tonight, 8 o'clock on Fox, on Big Fox tonight. Padres-Dodgers Game 5. It's rightfully on Big Fox. Um, It's a huge game. I can't wait. You Darvis and Yoshi Yamamoto. Dodgers minus 146. Padres plus 124 over under 8. Over is minus 102. Under is minus 120. Padres plus 1.5 is minus 176. Dodgers minus 1.5 is plus 146. You all know where I'm going. You all know what I'm doing. Padres plus 124. Doubling down. Rocking the boat. Rocking the baby. My favorite team that I have a future on. And the one that's alive and well. It's going to be alive and well after the weekend. And I think that it's going to be a great game. And the Padres are going to find the way. So I'm going to take the Padres at plus 124. Saturday, 8 o'clock on TBS. Tigers-Guardians game 5. That will be Tariq Skubal and TBD. So luckily for Detroit... Um, that their star ace is on regular rest. Detroit's favorite, minus 124. The Guardians are plus 106, over under 6. Over is minus 106, under is minus 114. Tigers minus 1 half is plus 146. Guardians plus 1 half is minus 78. Um, I'm going to take the under because of school. I don't know who's going to win, but, but I think there's a chance for whoever goes out for Cleveland Pitches really well, goes so to toe with Scooble, or Scooble has a bad inning and the Guardians take advantage, or Tigers' bullpen can implode. Something's going to happen that could be weird, but I still like the under in that spot. And then the NLCS begins on Sunday, 8 15 on Fox, right after football. Mets at either Dodgers or Padres. Um, if it's Mets Dodgers, best guy in the series would be Shohei Otani. If it's Mets Padres, best guy in the series would be Fernando Tatis Jr. Managerial edge would go to, I'd say Mendoza over Dave Roberts, and I would say, mm, I hate to say this, but Mike Schilt over Mendoza. Um. Storyline, I mean, regardless, it's the Mets. I mean, come on. OMG, Grimace, the whole package. They've been nothing but resilient, and they feel like a team of destiny to me. So if it's Mets Padres, I do think it's going to be San Diego. And I'm going to say in six. But if it's Mets Dodgers, I'm going to say Mets. How about that? And six. So either way, it goes six. Mets and six over to Dodgers. Padres over to Mets and six. That's where I'm headed. And then I'll pick the ALCS on Monday's um, show. All right, NFL. Um, Thursday Night Football was last night. Um, interesting game. We'll go over the results. And... Look ahead to um, the weekend. Um, 49ers over to Seahawks, 36-24. Much-needed win for San Francisco. Luckily, yours truly did not bet on the Seahawks because that was a bad pick. Um, Brock Purdy, 18-28, 255 yards and three touchdowns. Geno Smith, 30-52, 312 yards, a touchdown, two picks. So now we look ahead to Sunday. 9-30 on the NFL Network, Jaguars-Bears. From London. 
My line of chairs by four, total 43 and four fifths. And it is one half and 44 and a half. Um, I'm laying it with the Bears again. Um, I just don't trust this Jaguars team. I know they have a London um, jolt because they go to London every year. But um, the Bears are kind of playing better. So I'm going to leave the points. One o'clock. CBS. Texans Patriots from New England. My line's Houston by seven, total 38. And it is six and a half and 37 and a half. Um, where's the slight lean going to go? I'm going to say slight lean Houston. That's where you pick your poison because it's a half point edge on both sides. Um, on CBS Commanders Ravens, my favorite one o'clock game. My line's Ravens by two, total 54 and three tenths. That's a high projected total. And we have six and a half and fifty one and a half. Um, I'm taking the Commanders. I love it. Four and a half point edge on them. I like the over too, but um, I'm gonna take the Commanders plus the points. On Fox Browns Eagles, my lines are the Eagles by a whopping thirteen total forty two and three quarters. And it's nine and a half and forty two and a half. Um, I'm laying it with the Eagles. The Browns have too many injuries. Um, on Fox Cardinals Packers, my line's Packers by six, total forty eight and a half, and it is five and a half and forty seven and a half. Um, slate over. On Fox Buccaneers Saints, my line is the Bucks by two, total forty seven and seven tenths, and it's three and a half. And 41 and a half. I love the over in that game. Love it. But the only difference is that there's no Derek Carr for uh, New Orleans. It's uh, Spencer Rattler. But the Bucks could still do that by themselves. The Saints defense isn't um, world beaters. Colts Titans. My line is Titans by three. Total 45 and a quarter. And it's two and a half and forty two and a half over. Again, no Will Levis, but um, yeah, I still think yeah, that's an over game to me. Four o'clock on CBS Chargers Broncos from Denver. Length the Broncos by three and a half total thirty one and thirteen twenty. So I know that's a low total. And it's Chargers by three total thirty five and a half. Um. I actually have a larger edge on Denver. I'm taking Denver getting the 3 and plus 130. A lot of injuries on the Chargers. Also on CBS 4 o'clock, Steelers Raiders. My line is Steelers by 1, total 39 and a fifth. And it's 3 and 36 and a half. Um, I'm going to go with the over. 425 on Fox, Lions Cowboys. Um, is Burkhardt even doing this game? Probably not. It's probably going to be... Ooh, they lose Joe Davis, too. Is it going to be, like, Kenny Albert and Tom Brady? Jason Benetti and Tom Brady? It's going to be interesting to see uh, who calls this game with Tom. I have the Lions by a half, total 47 and a 20th, and it is 3-52 and 52 and a half. Um, I like the under a lot. Um, Cowboys, I know, still have defensive injuries. So the Lions, but I think 52 and a half is high. Also on Fox at 425 is Falcons Panthers. My line is Falcons eight and a half, total forty seven and two fifths. And it is six and a half and forty six and a half. Um I'm gonna lay to six and a half at Atlanta. And last but not least, Sunday night football, eight twenty, NBC, Bengals, Giants from the Meadowlands. Yes, the Giants have a primetime game at home on Sunday night football. And guess what? I have the New York football giants as a two point favorite without Malik Neighbors, total 47 and 4 fifths. Well, that's more about the Bengals being 1 and 4 and having injuries, though. It's Bengals 3 and half, total 47 half. I'm taking the Giants. I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm taking the Giants, getting the 3 and a half and plus 152 outright. I'm doing it. I'm taking my favorite football team to win and cover as a home underdog. All right, now I'll move on to college football. Um, We'll go over... The results from 
yesterday and look ahead to um, tonight in the weekend. James Madison over Coastal Carolina, 39-7. Louisiana Tech over Middle Tennessee, 48-21. I should have went with that with best bet instead of this one. I took the under in Western Kentucky, Utah. Western Kentucky wins 44-17. All right, three games tonight. Oh, that makes sense. Memphis, South Florida got um, postponed because of uh, the hurricane. So that makes sense. So, 8 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Northwestern, Maryland. I have Maryland by 8, total 47 and 3 tenths. And it is 10 and a half and 45 and a half. Um, I'm taking Northwestern in the points. 9 o'clock CBS Sports Network, UNLV, Utah State. I have UNLV by three total, 64 and two fifths. And it's 18 and a half and 66. Now, that's way too high. Give me uh, Utah State getting the points. And 1030 ESPN, number 16, Utah and Arizona State. My line is Utah seven half total fifty and a fifth, and it's five and a half and forty five and a half um over. All right, Saturday, twelve o'clock on ABC, South Carolina against number seven Alabama. Lions Alabama fourteen total sixty one nine twentieths, and it's twenty one and a half and forty nine and a half um. Oh, I really like the over in that game. That's hot. That's low. Um, ESPN, uh, number 10, Clemson at Wake Forest. My line is Clemson 5.5, total 62 and a 10. And it's 20.5 and, and 61.5. And I'm taking Wake getting the point. ESPN 2, number 21, Missouri at UMass. My line is Missouri 19, total 49 and 3 quarters. And it is um I just had it. Where where'd it go? Twenty seven and a half and fifty four and a half. Um I'm gonna take the points. On Fox, Washington, Iowa. My line is Iowa six and a half total forty one and three quarters, and it's two and a half and forty one and a half. I'm laying it with Iowa. Wisconsin Rutgers Big Ten Network. My line is Rutgers by five total forty seven and seven tenths, and it's two and forty three and a half. I like the over. On the CW, Georgia Tech and North Carolina. My line is UNC by four, total 56 and a tenth. And it is Georgia Tech, four and a half, total 59 and a half. I think Georgia Tech's overrated. Um, I'm going to take North Carolina plus the points and plus 142 outright. Ball State, Kent State. My line is Kent State by one, total 69 and seven tenths. And it's Ball State, four and a half, total 60 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the over. ESPN U, Toledo, Buffalo. My line is Toledo by 5, total 48, 9 tenths. And it's 9.5 and, and 44.5. And um, hmm, that's a tough one. Um, I'm going to take Buffalo getting the points. CBS Sports Network, UAB Army. My line is Army 12.5, total 53 and 9 tenths. And it's 25 and a half and 54 and a half. I'll take UAB in the points. Two o'clock. Um, Miami of Ohio, Eastern Michigan. My lines Eastern four and a half total 45 and nine tenths. And it is Miami of Ohio by two and a half total 46 and a half. I think the wrong team's favorite. Give, give me Eastern plus the points and plus little eight outright. 
All right, the big one. Red River Rivalry. That is 330. ABC. Number one, Texas. Number 18, Oklahoma. My line is Texas by 8, so 48 points, and it is 14 half and 49 and a half. I'm going to take Oklahoma getting the points. On CBS, number four, Penn State at USC. My line is Penn State, eight and a half, total 47 and a half, and it is three and a half and 50 and a half. That's low. That's low for Penn State. I'm laying the points. I can't believe it. I'm actually giving out Penn State. And as a favorite. On NBC, Stanford at number 11, Notre Dame. My line's Notre Dame, 20 and a half, so 47 and three fifths. It's 23 and a half, 45 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Stanford in the point. On ESPN, Cal at number 22, Pitt. My line is Pitt, eight and a half, so 57 and two fifths. And it is... Um, two and a half and fifty-eight and a half. Um, I'm gonna lay the two and a half with Pitt. Fox Sports One, Purdue at number twenty-three, Illinois. Well, it's Illinois by fifteen, total forty-eight and two fifths, and it is. Twenty-two and a half and forty-eight and a half. Um, I'm going to take the point to Purdue. ACC Network, Louisville, Virginia. My line is Louisville by seven, total fifty-four and two fifths, and it's seven and a half and fifty-three and a half. Um, slide over. Cincinnati, UCF on ESPN2. My line's UCF by 12, total 56 and 9 tenths. And it's 3.5 and 58 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay 3.5 and a half with UCF. Um, next up, San Jose State, Colorado State. My line is Colorado State by eight, total fifty six and a tenth, and it's San Jose State by one and a half, total fifty five and a half. I'm going to take the um the one and a half, and my, so it's technically a pick 'em. Colorado State's favorite on the money line. That's weird. CBS Sports Network, San Diego State and Wyoming. Minus Wyoming five and a half, total forty five and nine tenths. And it's one half, forty two and a half. I'm going to lay the one and a half of Wyoming. Old Dominion, Georgia State. My line's Georgia State by nine, total fifty four and three tenths. And it is one and a half and fifty four and a half. I'm laying it with Georgia State. Old Dominion stinks. Akron, Western Michigan. I have Western eighteen, total fifty eight and four fifths. And it's nine and a half and fifty one and a half. I'm gonna lay the points here with Western Michigan. That's low. Northern Illinois, Bowling Green. My line is Northern by 5, total 50 and 3 fifths. And it's 2.5 and, and 47.5. And um, I'm going to take Northern plus the points and plus 114 to win the game outright. All right, Memphis, South Florida got moved to, to a Saturday, and that makes sense. Um. I have Memphis 8.5, total 56, and the line's locked. Actually, no, we have it on ESPN Bet. 7 and 61.5. And um, under. 4 o'clock on Fox, Arizona at number 14, BYU. My line is BYU by 2.5, total 
49 and 7 tenths. And it is 3 and a half and 48 and a half. Um, slight over. ESPNU, Ohio Central, Michigan. I have Central by 6 total, 51 and 4 fifths. And it's Ohio 2 and a half total, 48 and a half. I'm going to take Central plus the points and plus 114 outright. 4.15 on the SEC network. Mississippi State at number 5, Georgia. Only Georgia 22 and a half, total 52 and 9 tenths. And it's 33 and a half and 54 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the points. That's a lot. 5 o'clock, Southern Miss, Yale Monroe. Milan's Yale Monroe by 9, total 43 and 2 fifths. And it's 6 and a half and 41 and a half. I'm going to lay the points. 7 o'clock, ESPN Florida at number 8, Tennessee. I have Tennessee by 11, total 55. And it's 15 and a half and 57 and a half. I'm actually going to be on, um, giving out the Gators, plus 15 and a half. Um, next, we have on True TV, Air Force, New Mexico. Um, a lot of the game times got moved, which is weird. Um, I didn't provide totals for a couple of games, so I apologize about that. Um, with time, um, I have New Mexico by three, and it is six and a half and fifty four and a half. I'm gonna take Air Force in the points. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Fox Sports 1, Washington State, Fresno. Well, it's Washington State, 6 and a half, total 66 and 7 tenths. And it's 3 and a half and 61 and a half. Um, over. Arkansas State, Texas State. I have Texas State by 6. And it's 14 and a half and 65 and a half. Um, I'll take Arkansas State in the points. ESPN 2, North Texas, FAU. My line's FAU as a one-point dog. And it's North Texas 5.5, total 58.5. I'll take FAU in the points. UTSA Rice, I have UTSA by 2. It's 3.5, 51.5. Uh, I'd go over. All right, this I have a line and a total for. Game of the week, game of the year so far, potentially. Because Georgia Bama was really good. Um, 7.30. NBC, number two, Ohio State at number three, Oregon. My was Oregon by three, total 52 and two-fifths. And it is three and a half in favor of Ohio State, total 54 and a half. I'm taking Oregon in the points, plus 132 outright. This is Oregon's time to shine. Another big one, 730 on ABC, number nine, Ole Miss. At number 13, LSU. My line is LSU by a half. Actually, no, that should be Ole Miss by a half. No Landry for LSU. So Ole Miss by a half. Total 54 and 3 fifths. Or 320, that's my bad. And it's Ole Miss 3 and a half. Total 62 and a half. Under. That's high. CBS Sports Network, Oregon State, Nevada. Lines Oregon State 19 and a half, and it is three and a half, 47 and a half. I'm laying the points. App State, Louisiana. Mine's Louisiana by 13, and it's 10 and a half, 64 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay it with Louisiana. 745 SEC Network, Vandy, Kentucky. Mine's Kentucky by nine, and it's 13 and a half, and 44 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Vandy to cover, although that could be a letdown spot easily. 8 o'clock on Fox, number 11, Iowa State at West Virginia. I have Iowa State by 1, total 49 and 9 tenths. And it's 3.5 and, and 53.5 and um, under. That's a, I think the West Virginia defense is better than giving credit for State for the Cyclones defense. Um, AC Cineric, Syracuse, NC State. My state by 1.5. And, and it's Syracuse 3.5, total 54.5. I'm taking State plus the points, plus 128. Um, on ESPNU, Marshall, Georgia Southern. My Southern by 10.5. And, and it's Marshall 2.5, total 60.5. Why is 
Georgia Southern being so disrespected. I'm taking Georgia Southern plus the points of plus 104. 9 o'clock, Big Ten, Eric, Minnesota, UCLA. I have Pickham. As Minnesota, 3.5 total, 40 and a half. I'm taking UCLA plus the points and plus 146. Um, 10.15, ESPN. Number 18, Kansas State at Colorado. I have Kansas State, 7.5 total, 52.5. And it's 3.5 and 55.5. Um, I'm going to lay the 3.5 of Kansas State, although, you know, everyone's rooting for Colorado. And 11 o'clock, CBS uh, Sports Network, number 17, Boise State at Hawaii. Mine's Boise by 7, and it's 20 and a half and 60 and a half. I'm taking Hawaii, getting the 20 and a half. All right, there you have it for college football. Now we have the WNBA Finals. Um, game one was wild, to say the least. And some Minnesota Lynx come back from 18 down to knock off the Liberty. 95-93 in overtime. Minnesota has a 1-0 lead in the series. Courtney Williams was so good. 23 points at the game-tying three-pointer with less than a minute to go to force overtime. John Cole Jones had 24-10 and 10 for New York. Game 3 is Sunday, 3 o'clock on ABC between the Lynx and the Liberty. And we don't have a the lineup for Oh yeah we do. Liberty seven half total one sixty two and a half. Oof. I'm gonna take the over, although I wanted to probably jump on the links again and they're plus two sixty out right in this game, but they're just banking on the Liberty to bounce back. That's a, a bad loss for New York. So I'm gonna actually take the over. But I am willing to take the links getting the points as well. And what is a must win? Now for New York Liberty. All right, now move on to soccer. Um, we really don't have time to do all the results. I'll just look at the weekend's games. But I, sorry guys, I'm not giving out picks. Um, so UEFA Nations League. Um, North Macedonia for Latvia three 0 Moldova over Andorra two 0 for Islands, Armenia 2-2 two, two draw. Greece over England 2-1. Austria over Kakistan 4-0. Ireland over Finland 2-1. Gibraltar over San Marino 1-0. Italy, Belgium 2-2 two, two draw. Norway over Slovenia 3-0. France over Israel 4-1. All right, today at noon, Estonia and Azerbaijan 2-45. Um, Czech Republic and Albania. Bosnia, Herz, Germany. Hungary, Dutch. Ukraine, Georgia. Turkey, Montenegro. Slovakia, Sweden. Iceland, Wales. Saturday. 9 o'clock, Lithuania, Kosovo, noon, Bulgaria, Luxembourg, Croatia, Scotland, 2 for 5, Cyprus, Romania, Spain, Denmark, Serbia, Switzerland, Poland, Portugal, and Belarus, North Ireland. Sunday, 9 o'clock, Kakistan, Slovenia, 12 o'clock, Armenia, North Macedonia, Finland, England, Liechtenstein, Gibraltar, Malta, Moldova, Austria, Norway, 2 45, Greece, Ireland, and Faroe Islands, Lafayette. All right, calm the ball. Yesterday, Bolivia over Colombia, 1-0. Ecuador, Paraguay, 0 no, no draw. Venezuela, Argentina, 1-0 no draw. Brazil over Chile, 2-1. 9-30 tonight, Peru, Uruguay. Um, and then we have um, the AFC third round results. Um. Australia for China, 3-1. Uzbekistan, Iran, 0-0 nil, nil draw. South Korea over Jordan, 2-0. Qatar over Kyrgyz Republic, 3-1. North Korea, UAE, 1-1 one, one draw. Oman over Kuwait, 4-0. Bahrain, Indonesia, 2-2 two, two draw. Japan over Saudi Arabia, 2-0. Iraq over Palestine, 1-0. That resumes Tuesday. As does um, Calm the Ball. And in Africa, Cup of Nations qualifying... Yesterday, Zimbabwe over Namibia, 1-0. Ghana, Sudan, 0-0 no, no draw. Congo, DR over Tanzania, 1-0. Botswana over Cap Verde, 1-0. Algeria over Togo, 5-1. Burkina Faso over Bernudi, 4-1. All right, going on right now, Mozambique, Eswani. Uh, Guinea, Liberia. Zambia, Chad. Coming up at 10 o'clock, Madagascar, Gambia. Noon, Nigeria, Libya. Uganda, South 
South Sudan, Benin, Rwanda, Cameroon, Kenya, Egypt, and Mauritania, 1 o'clock South Africa, Congo, 3 o'clock Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Mawali, Tunisia, Comoros, Gabon, Lesotho, Mali, and Guinea-Bissau, and Angola and Niger. Saturday, 12 o'clock, Guinea and Ethiopia, 3 o'clock, Morocco, Central Africa Republic. And then Sunday at noon, Bernudi and Burkina Faso. We have MLS this weekend. One game, Saturday night, Columbus, New England. And it's Sunday, one game, Vancouver, LAFC. Women's League tonight, 10 o'clock on Prime Videos, Portland and Orlando. Saturday, 4 o'clock on Paramount, Chicago and Gotham. 7.30 on Ion, North Carolina, Angel City. 10 o'clock, Bay FC and KC. Sunday, 5 o'clock on ESPN2, Utah, Seattle, Washington, Louisville. And then 8 o'clock on Paramount is San Diego and Houston. And then USL, Saturday, 4 o'clock, Detroit Indy. 7 o'clock, Pittsburgh, Charleston, Hartford, North Carolina, Louisville, Tampa at 7.30. Hartford, North Carolina is also 7.30. 8 o'clock, Colorado, San Antonio, Memphis, Sacramento. 8.30, Tulsa, New Mexico. And 10 o'clock is Oakland, Phoenix. Sunday, 4 o'clock, Rhode Island, Loudoun. And 6 o'clock is Birmingham, Vegas. So there you have it for soccer. Now move on to golf. We'll look at the current leaderboard for... The um, Black Dessert Championship. Your leader right now at 11 under is Adam Spepson. Tied for second, 9 under, Herrick Norlander and Matt McCarty. Tied for fourth, 7 under, Sam Ryder and Kevin Stroman. Tied for sixth with 6 under, Sean Kim, Ben Coles, Cam Champ, Stefan Yeager, Kurt Katayama, Harry Hall, Ryan Fox, Doug Gim, Joseph Berlant, Carson Young. Tied for 16th with 5 under, Roger Sloan, Mac Miser, Bill Hostler, Rico Holy, Lucas Hodges, Nate Hardy, Nicholas Ecovria, Harry English, Joe Highsmith, Pat Gazier, Chris Kirk, Tyler Duncan, and Josh Teeter. Tied for 29th with 4 under, Rio Hisatune, Joel Dahman, Kevin Chappell, Kyungu Lee, Grayson Sieg, Justin Sue, um, Michael Thib Jordson. Scott Piercy, Alex Smalley, um, Jason Hadley tied for 42nd with Thrander, S.H. Kim, Patrick Rogers, Trey Mullinox, Evan Van Royen, Dylan Wu, Nate Lashley, Vincent Whaley, Eric Barnes, Alexander Jorick, Zach Blair, Luke List, Robbie Shelton, YC Yuan, Trevor Whitney. Tied for 61st with two under, Kevin Tway, Kelly Kraft, Chad Ramey, Pearson Cootie, J.J. Spawn, Justin Lauer, Andrew Novak, Austin Smotherman. Troy Merritt, Tim Wilkinson, Chris Corti, Sammy Valamaki, Nate Taylor, Camilo Vegas, and Lucas Glover, Keith Mitchell, Hayden Buckley, David Lipsky, um, Alejandro Tosti, Max McGreevy, Ben Hill Jr., Kaya Kina. Now we're doing notables tied for 83rd, one other, Ryan Moore, Matt Neesmith, Alex Badley, Lucas Griffin, Paul Bargen, Harry Springer, CT Pond. Chesar Vade, Robert Brand, Matthias Schmidt, Martin Laird, Bill Cauley, Tyson Alexander, Kevin Doherty, Ty for 99th at even, Roger Campos, Ben Taylor, Mark Hubbard, Paul Fishburne, David Skins, Taylor Montgomery, Trevor Crow, M- Ryan McCormick, Ty for 110th with one over, Daniel Berger, Seamus Power, Wesley Bryan, Brandon Wu, Ty for 116th with two over, Austin Cook, Peter Walnati, Sean O'Hare, Ty for 121st with three over, Peter Quest, Tied for 124th with four over Patrick Knowles and Bryce Garnett. Um, 126 with five over Cody Gribble. 128th tied, seven over Grayson Ego, Kevin Kisner, and Matt Trainer. Withdrawing J.B. Holmes. So there you have it for all. And now move on to NASCAR. Um, we will look at the weekend's races and make our picks. Um, so, from Charlotte tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Xfinity. Um, I think it's going to be a good race. Um, NASCAR is almost over. We're like a month away from this being over, which is unfortunate.
unfortunate. Um, the, um, drive for the cure 250. Um, I'm gonna go with Justin Algier at 11 to 1. And then the Cup Series from Charlotte at 2 o'clock on Sunday. Um, with Ross Chastain at 18 to 1. I think that's a sneaky good value pick. All right, now move on to the news and notes for today. Um, I'm going to try to be very quickly here. We talked about some of the games getting canceled and postponed. Um, the big news of the morning, though, the Boozer Twins pick Duke. Um, Cameron and Caden Boozer pick Carlos Boozer's alma mater over Miami, which is not a surprise. How about this? Um, the Jets demote Nate Hackett as Jeff Ulbrich confirms that Todd Downing will be offensive play caller moving forward. That's crazy. Tom Brady donating 100 grand to join relief efforts to help Floridians impacted by Hurricane Milton. So that's really nice. Um. Jazz Chisholm Jr. says that Mikael Garcia was being a sore loser after taking hard slide into Anthony Volpe at second. Um, Jazz Chisholm's doing a lot of trash talk, and I'm surprised it hasn't bit him in the Yankees in the ass yet, really. I mean, maybe later rounds it will. But hey, maybe the Yankees need people like that, because that's something that they've lacked a villain. Excuse me. And the Yankees are also happy with Aaron Boone. As Brian Cashman praised him, but refused to discuss the future with the team. That's interesting. But the latter part is the interesting part. And I think it depends on how they do in this round. If they make the World Series, he's coming back. Um, so... Jacoby Brissett talks about his benching for Drake May. Ezekiel Elliott, dumbfounded by the role as he spoke to coaches about limited role opportunities in the red zone. Um, well, he shouldn't be. He's washed up. Hassan Reddick and CAA part ways as he's no longer with the agency amid holdout. Um, not surprising. So the uh, Golden State... Valkyers hired their first head coach, um, Natalie Nikasi. So good for her. And the the Valkyries picked fifth in the rookie draft. The regular season got extended to 44 games, and the 2025 finals is to be best of seven. Wow. Um, Freddie Freeman should be back tonight for the Dodgers. That's huge for them. Sham says that... Uh, Bronny and LeBron could play together as soon as opening night, which is crazy. Herb Jones might start as center as he's likely to serve as the Pelicans starting center. That's according to Shams as well. That's crazy. The Commanders released Sam Hartman, the former Notre Dame quarterback. Jalen Brunson says he thought he was deserving of a spot at the Olympics. I agree with him. Um... Quinn Ewers is back after missing two games again, as he'll be back for the Oklahoma game. I think that's huge that he's back. Not that Arch was bad or anything, but you'd rather have quit. Um, Lightning Hurricanes got postponed due to Hurricane Millen. I forgot to talk at HL on the podcast, so um, might as well do that before... Uh, Um, we're not even on today's show. We'll just catch up with that on Monday. I'm just sorry, guys. Um, just so busy. Um, Danny Green retires. Great career for him. Former Spur. Laker. The Twins are exploring a franchise sales. The Pollard family considering selling the team amid $1.7 billion valuation. Huh. And Nick Center Mitchell Robinson out the first half of the season. That's not surprising. There's a reason they went out and got Carl Anthony Towns. And is it a big one for Nick? Some might say yes. Others may say no. They'll miss his rim protection. But 
he's just not amazing. Like, he's DeAndre Jordan when DeAndre Jordan was on the Clippers. That's my cop for him. So there you have it for news and notes. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, again, I apologize for not doing hockey. We'll obviously catch up with that on Monday's show. And the NBA doesn't start for another week, so uh, um, we don't have to worry about that. Um, so best bet, um, I'm going to go to... Um, college football. And I'm going to lay three hundredths of a unit. And I'm going to take Utah State getting the points against UNLV. I'm going against UNLV again for the second Friday in a row. So I'm going to take Utah State plus 18.5 against UNLV. All right, five, five time, three hundredths of a unit per pick. I'm going to start in college football. Pick number one, going back to the well, I'm going with the over in the Alabama-South Carolina game. Um, Alabama's an over team. South Carolina can score some points. I'm going over 49.5 in Alabama-South Carolina. Pick number two of the Fab Five, I am... Going to lay three and a half with Penn State against USC. Um, James Franklin, short favorite, um, usually wins these kinds of games. The next pick, I'm going to lay nine and a half with Western Michigan against Akron. I just think Akron stinks. I don't get why um, that number's that low. Um, next pick, I'm going to lay points, or am I going to lay points? Um, yes, I'm going to lay points with the Beavers of Oregon State. against um, Nevada. And the last pick of the Fab Five, I'm going to say Kauai getting all those points at home against Boise. I just think Boise's looking ahead a little bit. And the underdog outright pick of the week, I... Am going to pick the North Carolina Tar Heels plus one forty two to beat Georgia Tech. I'm going against Georgia Tech on money line for the second time in a row. Um, and now the NFL Fat Five. The college Fat Five was a little difficult. So now we'll move on to the NFL Fat Five. Um, so first pick of the NFL Fat Five. I am going to take the Washington Commanders getting six and a half against the Ravens. I was hinting at this when I gave out the pick. The Commanders have been my baby this year. Riding and dying with them. I'm going to take them getting points. Pick number two. I'm going to lay nine and a half with the Eagles against the the Browns. Only because the Browns have so many injuries. I just don't see um, Philly... Um, losing or even winning a close game. The third pick, I'm taking the Broncos getting three at home against the Chargers. This is um, 
a more of a bet against the Chargers, only because the Chargers have all those injuries. So I'm going to take Denver plus three. Pick number four. I am going to go with the over 41 and a half in Bucks Saints or the under 52 and a half in the Cowboy game. Um, I have a bigger edge on the Saints over, but because of Rattler, we don't know how he's going to look. And, I mean, I can see Cowboys Detroit going under, but that is so hard. Um, but 52 and a half is so high and 41 and a half is so low. I'm going to go with the safer bet. I'm going to say, um, the under in the Cowboy game only because, um, because of Rattler. You just don't know what you're going to get. And my last pick, I alluded to it. I'm taking the Giants getting the three and a half at home against the Bengals. Um, I hate myself for this pick. I'll say that right now because the Bengals are due for an ass-kicking game, and they need the game so bad. But the Bengals are flawed defensively, and the Giants are a little friskier. They have a better coach. I know Cincinnati has the offensive advantage easily, but the Giants' defense isn't a disaster. So I'm taking the Giants getting the points, and I'm also going to take the Giants as my outright upset winner. At plus 152 to beat the Bengals. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hate myself for doing it. Because I'm a Giants fan, as you guys know. And this team really isn't that good. But why not? They showed me a little something last week to earn it. Alright, so there you have it for the show. I apologize again about not having NHL in there. We'll do it all on Monday. Hope you guys have a great weekend, everyone.